some of the, the most pristine waters left on the eastern seaboard. We want to keep them that way. Got to be able to do what you did as a child and walk the beaches and go out to Cape Lookout and explore um, this gorgeous piece of property that we have called North Carolina. Offshore drilling is driven by the um, oil companies without a doubt and there were four companies who've already received permits to uh, do seismic blasting and a fifth one came up this summer, Western Gecko. And Western Gecko was denied a permit. Issues that are coming to light now, the most recent science about how the seismic blasting affects not only um, uh, marine mammals, but also your fish and your basis of the food chain, which is plankton. And the zooplankters are what everybody else feeds on. If you're going to take those out with a seismic blast, you're going to have uh, issues with your entire e ecosystem. It's just not going not to work. And so you're putting our ecosystem under threat in multiple ways for extended periods of time. It's not just the right whales or the zooplankters. It has to do with our existing economy and our existing economy is totally dependent on clean water. One spill and we're wiped out. We have tourism and we have uh, commercial and recreational fishing. And neither tourism or commercial and recreational fishing can uh, stand oil spills. Uh, like I said, put us out of business. And for all the risks and none of the rewards, why would you do that? drill uh, team and this is a team made up of maybe 15 different environmental organizations with representation from each and all of those are collaborating together to bring forward um, um, education and advocacy around this issue and if you educate people about the possibilities of what could happen and you advocate with your, your um, local government officials, you can move the, the dial, you can, you can make things different. At a local level, one of the ways we work to fight it is to go to our, our um, businesses and our people and, and primarily our local governments like town councils and county chamber of commerces and county commissioners. And we've asked those people to sign resolutions if they're against offshore drilling. And we've had tremendous success in that, particularly in, in the towns and the um, uh, counties up and down North Carolina coast. And climate change is already affecting us. And so we need to move forward on reducing our uh, needs for fossil fuels and move to alternative energies. I'm fully in favor of offshore wind, but I'm not in favor of offshore oil. In a nutshell, what Sierra Club is capable of doing is providing educational materials and providing opportunities for advocacy about the environmental issues that are affecting us.